Hello booktube, my name is Elizabeth and welcome to BookBabble. Today is Wednesday, it is also Top 5 Wednesday and Day 23 of the Vlogmas and I'm so excited for it to almost be over. I am definitely getting a little tired of editing every single day but I've enjoyed doing this with you guys so, so, so much. Today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is book series that you want to start in 2016. So let's get started. So for this video I decided to just put pick book series that um, has already started, so not new book series that are going to be starting in 2016. I have an anticipated release is video up if you guys want to check that out and see which book series and standalones I'm excited about coming out in 2016. So for this video, I'm just doing book series that have already started and or ended. So let's get started. And these are also in no particular order. Number five is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I have tried to make myself read this for forever. Every single time this book meets a requirement for a readathon, I pick it, but it's just so long for a readathon, and I just kind of need the convincing to read this, like, comments. Do, give me all the comments of why I should read The Darkest Minds, convince me, because I want to, I just never pick it up when I need a new book to read. So hopefully I can get to this in 2016. Next, number four is Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. This is the um, UK cover, and I think that's one of the reasons why I don't want to read it. I won this UK cover in a giveaway, and I really, really like the US cover edition, and I just think it's just so much more enticing for a young adult fantasy, but this just looks too much like a romance to me, and so it puts me off. Um, I don't know. I really want to read it. I want to read it in 2016. I just, just haven't done it yet, um, but hopefully I can get to it. Then The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I don't know why I haven't gotten to this yet. My husband bought this for me for my birthday this year, and I just, I really, really need to read it. Shatter Me by Tara Mafi. I was going to buddy read this with Gwen, and I always want to see the Gwendolyn reading method, but that's not the same person. And I cannot remember her booktube channel right now, but I will link it down below because we were going to buddy read this and then she like got sick before the buddy read and then just read it by accident, sort of. And so it just never happened and then I just never picked it up. So I really, really need to. I mean, these covers are just gorgeous. I want the rest of the series in this paperback edition with these covers and I just really need to read this so much because the covers are amazing and I just keep putting it off and putting it off for some weird reason. And last but definitely not least is The Winner's Crime, not Winner's Crime, The Winner's Curse by Maru Rutuski. I mean, these the cover is just so beautiful. Why haven't I read this book yet? I think because I don't want to ruin it by actually reading it, you know, I don't want to break the spine by accident or anything, but this book is just amazing and I've heard so, so many great things about this series. I just really, really need to read it before the series ends. I think the third book is coming out and that's like the end of the series and that's just ridiculous. I really need to read this series because it just looks so freaking epic. I love the cover. I love the description that it has in the back. I just really, really, really need to read this series. If you guys have read any of these series and you have some, you know, tips for me to get these read or to convince me to read them, please comment them down in the links below. Please comment them down in the comment section below and let me know which book series you desperately need to read in 2016 and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Is definitely a Jesse the Reader. Like, right? Isn't that Jesse the Reader? I don't know. Well, anyway.